your titles don't, they can mean many different things. So what do you actually do? What's a typical day like? Mm. Um, first, I have to say that there are no typical days. <laughs> there are lots of, lots of things going on. It's a very exciting place to be because every day is very different. And um, also, you, you have to be able to just do a lot of things you know, as the, the situation arises. A summer, I started a summer reading program, so the learners have been online with me all summer. We have a summer reading book, and we're blogging with an author. We're reading Trouble Don't Last um, by Shelley Pearsall, and she's blogging with us. So um, it, it's it's just a, a constant a constant flow of um, technology. <laughs> I guess we throw around this term project-based learning, but all of our readers, watchers may not know exactly what that means. Could you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, Problem-based learning, let me give you an example of something that we just did recently, an example of one of our projects. Um, as we were um, moving into our new building, um, we noticed that in, in the learning commons, there's no ceiling. It just you know, it's a, it goes straight up. And outside of our learning commons, there's a great hall, which is um, used for exhibits. So it's a public, it's a public area. Um, we also have, uh, to one side of our learning commons, an entranceway where, where people would come into the museum portion of the building. And so this all opened. And what we discovered is that kids were coming to visit was that there was a lot of noise mm -hmm. in the in the great hall and in the entranceway that filtered down into the learning commons. So um, we identified that that was a a big concern, especially for those uh, learners who would be doing research or any kind of work in our learning commons. And so the sound was an issue, which is also happened to be um, a standard for the fifth grade learners to explore sound. So what we did was we identified the problem and then they went back to the classroom and talked about solutions for this problem. They had to learn a lot about um, sound and one of the ways that they did that was that we have a resident inventor that we work with throughout the year. And it just so happened that our resident inventor was um, Jim West, who his expertise is in sound. So we, the kids had an opportunity to visit with him. He actually came to our school and talked with them about sound. And then um, they then from that conversation started to develop different solutions to the problem. And in their solutions, they also created a prototype that um, they presented to Jim West. So they got into groups and based on their interest as far as the solution to the problem and designed a prototype and um, presented actually to some coaches first. And then we had a big presentation with distance learning um, with Jim West, who's at Johns Hopkins. And um, uh, so we did. We did the presentation in a, at a distance, um, and then after he spoke with them again, he he talked about their different solutions and how they could be merged. So at this point, the learners are now deciding how their the projects will be merged to actually solve some of the problems in the learning commons. And I think one of the interesting things that some of the some of the kids discovered was that if we put a waterfall hmm. sound in the learning commons, they would build like a, a waterfall picture on, on, on wood that um, that would that would actually um, reduce the sound. One of the challenges that I always find teachers asking about is I'd love to do more project based learning, but I'm great. I, my students are being evaluated based on these strict tests. How do you handle that that issue? Um, well, we're we're not taking all of the same tests, but I will tell you that we're extremely proud. We just got our state um, test scores back, and um, we're one of the top in the district. And we did we did beautifully. 
So um, we're very excited. Um, the scores actually are higher than we were expecting. So apparently the problem-based learning worked really well for us and in fact probably boosted our scores as opposed um, to, to having them drop. Um, so we're, we're constantly learning. We're lifelong learners just as the learners are. And we really have enjoyed learning all of these new things and keeping up with the kids. And um, for me, it's been the virtual classroom. I just really um, enjoy talking with the kids virtually and meeting them. I think it's made a huge difference in their learning environment to have me available after school hours answering questions so that they're, they're not frustrated or caught not doing something because they didn't know what to do. You know, I can send them a quick link. They can't find something. So I think technology has actually made our school learning process deeper.